Welcome to Invite English Family. For English subtitles, please enable this CC caption. Do you really think you can keep flying back and forth while your business abroad is still unfinished? Grandpa is coming back for the spring festival. So I have to come back too. But isn't it just a family dinner reunion? Is it really worth a 12 hour flight from America? Well, on such a special occasion, being together with family is more important than anything else. But if you travel too often, you won't have time to rest. Don't worry about me. I can manage. Sahadat is here. I asked him to wait outside. So will you. Grandpa, I'm back home. It's good to have you back. Elijah must be tired after a long trip. Have a seat. Right. As my eldest grandson, you still remember to value out family traditions. No matter where you are or how busy you may be, you always make time to come back for family dinner on New Year's Eve, which shows filial piety. You are doing a great job. When you are happy, we are all happy. Chen, now go and tell Sahadat. We don't have time. Okay, sir. Sahadat, what did he come here for? He wants to partner with us because he sees that we are doing well. He wants to make more profit for himself by joining us. What do you think? I think Sahadat is here to talk about his project for a joint venture sightseeing real estate development group. It's a bit difficult for me to understand, but it seems like their project is profitable. If our Chang family partners with the Joy family, it could be beneficial for us. I don't want to partner with Sahadat because he is a greedy man. It doesn't matter to me how profitable his project may be. Mr. Sahadat, my apologies for making you wait. Mr. Chung is feeling well. He can't see visitors right now. Oh, that's fine. Happy New Year too. Happy New Year. Sir, Form President Sahadat. A gift. All right. I'll make sure Mr. Chung gets it. Mr. Chung really is a stubborn man, isn't he? He won't be for long. Okay, let's not worry about work during the holidays. Elijah, how long do you plan to stay this time? I have to leave after the spring festival. I still have some business overseas that I need to finish. Which will take about a month from now. That's good. You have a can-do attitude and aren't afraid of hardships. You have the same traits I had when I started this company decades ago. Grandpa, I will always look up to you. I'm an old man now. I wish our Chung family could be more like an extended family, surrounded by children and grandchildren. We would have a happier spring festival. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm sure it will be a happy festival. Mama, Mama Papa, Papa, Happy, happy New, Year. New Year. We wish you good health and fulfilled dreams. May you live to be a hundred. My child, these are red envelopes we made for you. Wow, Mama, did you make these yourself? Yes, my child. Thank you, Mama. I don't have much to give you. So accept this money and make sure to buy something for yourself. Mason, my son. 
I've always felt terrible for sending you to school late. Mama, it's fine. It's spring festival. Let's talk about something happy. Once I graduate, I'll find a job and earn money to buy a house. Maybe even a house in the city where you can take walks in the park if you want. Then you can go shopping in one of those supermarkets and ride around in a taxi. Happy New Year! That was quick. Happy New Year! I'm back home. What about you? I'm home too. I will be back after Spring Festival. Brother. Hello Stefan. So you're back home? Yes. Uncle Chin told me you're back. So I looked all over for you. Turns out, you were here all along texting other people. So, tell me. How have you been? I'm alright. Brother, could you please stay for a few more days? What's wrong? The thing is, it's really hard to read girl's mind. Can you teach me how to do it? What on earth just happened? She seems to have changed her mind. I'm not surprised. With the way I look. Of course she wouldn't like me. That's not true. Just have some faith. Listen, you're the best. Brother, I know you're just saying that. Even if I may be the best in your eyes. But in other people's eyes. I just know it. She has probably already met someone else. Couldn't it be just you being suspicious? No, I'm sure of it. Mama looks much older compared to last time. She does. She worries about so many things, but she is so strong. Mama used to be so pretty when she was younger. Now she has a head full of gray hair. Brother, why don't we stay here until New Year? The longer we are here, the longer Mama will live. Don't you agree? What are you staring at? I was thinking about what you would look like with a head full of gray hair in the future. Everybody gets old. We will all have gray hair someday, including you. Brother, I hope you and I won't ever have to part. What do you think of that? Just now, Mama asked the two of us to look after one another for the rest of our lives. Have you already forgotten? No, I didn't. Aren't you cold? Should we go inside? I'm not. I'm not going in yet. Really you're not? Yeah, I'm not. I'm staying up here for Mama. Don't you want her to live up to a hundred? Of course I do. I just thought you would be cold. I will never be cold. As long as you're with me. Brother, have you ever heard the saying before? They say that as long as you write two names beside each other on the snow, then they won't ever be apart. I have done that. <laughs> 